So basically, what we looked at the site map of all the foreclosures in Taylor. Um, when the economy hit, it hit a lot of a lot of cities: Dearborn, Allen Park, Melbourne, Lincoln Park, Taylor. Um, and we started off in 2010 trying to purchase homes, renovate them, and sell them. And some of the ones that we were having trouble selling, we kept. In Taylor, we identified 111 properties in the potential areas. And here, we're going to go through some of the properties that we've seen. When our people were out there taking pictures, when our group was out there analyzing the houses, neighbors were coming outside, showing their concern, saying, what's going on with this property? Can we demo this? You know, we've lived here for four or five years. And this is where we think we can make a big impact on Taylor. We have um, just some of the pictures that we've seen, some of the boarded up um, houses, things like that. And this is something that we've been doing for a while. We buy a lot of houses from the mortgage foreclosures. These are houses that sat empty for almost three to five years, waiting the foreclosure process. And we bought them with mold, with water, with flood, with absolutely the worst types of houses you can imagine. Um, and you would have to rehab them off the park. You're, I mean, our main, I mean, it's hard to believe me if you know the type of person we are. It's not always about making a profit. So a lot of these houses, we fix them the way that we want to live in these houses. That's why if you do everything correctly, these houses will attract the top of the line people that want to live in Taylor. When they see a brand new kitchen, a brand new uh, countertop, a granite, the, I mean, that's some of the best crews that work directly for me in the business living here in Down River. I have local crews dedicated to me. We did over 75 properties in the last year and a half. And now, I mean, there, there really wasn't any more properties to buy in the areas we're at. The, the area is improving. Down River is on fire. Um, so what we're going to do here is a lot of these tax foreclosures go to the city and or go to the state, and a lot of these people that have seen any home renovation show on TV want to come out and buy a house and test their ability to make a profit on your city. Here, we have control of doing this ourselves, working with the city, pulling permits, doing everything the right way, and having monthly, monthly reports with the city on what we're doing, how we're doing it, so that way we can be, um, we can be held liable. We live in Down River. We're going to have to look you guys in the face every month and show you our progress and what we're doing. Um, so here we offered it as a partnership. You let us know. We'll work together to come to a resolution on what we want to do with these houses. If you want these houses demoed, we'll demo them. If we want to remodel, we'll remodel them. And based on our work, we can sell these and bring up the marketplace in Taylor. A lot of these houses at the beginning, you know, will hopefully show comps, increased comps in the area, comparable houses so that you'll be able to sell your houses. But we can do that by can, sort of controlling the market and tailor. Um, like for example, a house that you'll purchase for $20,000 and put 30 in, you might only sell it for 50, 55, but at least you have a base now for your comparable um, neighbors and stuff to be able to sell their houses for that minimum. From there, you do it again, and your comps might go from comparable house values, might go from 55 to 60, and slowly over time, you can improve cities, and you can improve neighborhoods, and we have a proven system that we did in cities, neighboring cities. We've done it in parts of Dearborn, we did it in parts of Dearborn Heights. Um, Allen Park, we have a limited amount, but between Dearborn and Dearborn Heights, we have over um, 55 properties, and we increased the property values in these houses. Uh, we recently sold one in Allen Park. Uh, we listed it for 210, and we got it sold for 217. Other agents were calling us and telling us, um, "Can you hurry up and close the deal so they can use that comparable values to sell their houses?" So it's kind of a domino effect in a positive direction if you do this correctly. Um, so basically, by what, we have, what we're offering in the city is we're appreciative of getting the houses for a dollar, but there's a lot of work to do once we get these houses. We analyzed a lot of these houses. We've seen that we, they cost a minimum of $30,000 to rehab these houses, but in, in the end, the whole community 
prospers, and me living in El Parco prosper. The neighboring cities are all going to prosper from what we're doing. Here we're going to pay the Wayne County taxes. We're going to pay the delinquent taxes or fine, which were not paid to the city for the last um, year. And then once you purchase the property, we'll be paying taxes in addition for a year. Um, the average taxes in Taylor are anywhere from, I mean, on average, $2,000 and 100 properties, you'll be re re fixing the tax base of $200,000 a year for the city of Taylor. We're going to pay all costs associated with this program. We'll pay legal, we're going to pay engineering, um, we'll pay all the delinquent water taxes, the taxes and fines, and we're going to pay all the Wayne County taxes. So usually, um, since we've been doing foreclosures for a long time, the first thing we do is we secure the, you know, we have three different phases. First, we're going to secure the properties, work with the city to pull all permits on all the houses before anything starts. We have the property, get our CFO, and from there, we'll market to sell the property. We work with some of the best brokers in town. We sell our houses for the maximum amount that that allows in the area. Um, because we do everything brand new, usually these houses will sell in less than a month if you do it right. Um, as far as the, going down to the tax auction, and anybody can buy these, you have investors now from all over the world trying to come to Wayne County, Michigan, and buy a lot of these properties. They just want to buy them, put a renter in there, and get positive cash flow. You're buying a house for 30 grand, you put five into it, you rent it for 800, those are great numbers, and a lot of people in the U.S. are happy with that. You really can't do any of this like you can in Michigan, so now we have everybody trying to do this. But we can stop that by working on these ourselves, taking the properties, fixing them, selling them, and avoiding all rentals in the area. Um, so usually when there's, when there's an occupied house with a tenant, in the past, we try to work with them. We knock on the door, we have a pamphlet, we have a brochure, uh, we have business cards, and we try to work a deal with the tenant there. Can we help you move? Can we pay you a certain amount to leave, you know, to help you, assist you in finding another place? We have agents. We can find you places. We have moving companies that we deal with. We've moved people. We help to get their first month's rent, things like that. We've done a lot of stuff. So we just, once the property have people in them, then we try to negotiate with them and work with them and things like that. Um, the vacant properties we can start on right away, but it's the it's the properties that have the people in there who are not trying to build a better for, for the city and the council on voting on something like this. We will work diligently with these people to help them move. A lot of the mortgage foreclosures that I buy, they have a six month rent right redemption. So at any point, they put a for sale sign in front of the house and my money gets returned to me. So it's beneficial for me to always work with the people and work in agreement, work in a way that suits them, that's going to end up um, working for both sides. So we're experts at doing it with this. We're experts at negotiating with them. We found out tactics and tricks to work closely with the people and being upfront and honest with them and letting them know all the rules. Um, with the mortgage foreclosures, you have six months to live in the house for free. We tell them that right at the beginning. We'll honor that. We'll let you live here. So we're working with the people because in the end, no, we want to avoid courts. We want to avoid legal. We want to avoid evictions and things like that and putting it on the record. I mean, people go through tough times, but we're here to help. So those properties, once we move the people um, to another location or um, cash for peace type scenario, we'll secure the property, obtain the permits, market them, and sell these properties. Um, and then here I explain, explain sort of what we do with um, the problem properties where we're not able to work on a deal with the tenants, we're not able to move them, um, they don't want to work with us. This final stage, we would put the property um, outside of the city's name into another LLC and we'd have to go to court and do an eviction. But, that's after we tried every single possible thing that we could possibly do, um, then we have to move to the eviction process, which a lot of the times if we do our jobs correctly, we won't go down that path. Sure. If, we, if, I could, if I could just ask a question on that line. Um, you guys have been in this business
business for a while, typically, what's the percentage of evictions that you have to proceed with? Or how, I, I, how many how many do you typically see? Is it is it a high is it a high percentage or um, is it a relatively low number? So a lot of the people we dealt with are people that um, haven't paid a mortgage in close to three to four years. They haven't paid their taxes. They haven't. So sometimes they're just they have a pretty tough mentality and they don't want to leave. Other times they're happy to take a little bit. Um, we're close to I think. A, a very accurate numbers, probably out of four, we have one. So close to 25% we're going to have to deal with evictions. But the good thing about this project is 50 of the houses are vacant, 40 of them are occupied. So out of the 40, we have close to 10 out of the 40 that we might have to pursue the eviction process. But we will exhaust every single right to try to work with them, to try to move them. We have local companies that help us. We have deep discounts to help people get them into place, first month's rent, something like that, to just try to get them to move because um, at the end of the day, it could be a three, four month process of legal and things like that. And the cost that I'm gonna be paying in legal, I'm more than happy just to give it to the person in need and help them move. Great, I got a question, a quick question too. So if you go to a house and let's say it's, it's occupied, but not for the person that it's on mortgages, like a runner, that happens. Would you be able to, or have you, say, listen, we'll move the house, we can fix it, but we'll help you get back into this house once it's done. Have you ever done that? So, a lot, some of the times we just continue working with the people to stay in the house. I mean, it's very difficult to work on a house 